Hey everybody, how you doing? Hope that you're good. Uh, what do you think of my little tray of potatoes? I'm, I'm really pleased with it. I've tried growing potatoes before in uh, like sacks and containers and um, I just had zero results. Um, these were dug up from this little patch here. There's one left standing. I thought I'd leave the uh, leave that in the ground because um, the potatoes might sm swirl and I'll get a, a larger larger ones. I've got a few little beetroot growing here at the back. Um, I, I had potatoes in this area too. Um, I dug them up and um, yeah, enjoyed eating them. Well, saved most of them actually. Um, I've got a couple of courgette plants here. You see that? I think it's on its way to turning into the size of a marrow. I've got that one there that's about six, eight inches. I'll eat that later on. I've got corn. It's got lovely uh, bits of red, hairy bits growing on it. Um, look at the size of this corn though, look. Look at the size of it. How big's that? It's meant to be this. Baby corn. And on the back, I don't know if you can see that, it says not genetically modified. I wonder. I think I've been lied to there. So, I mean, it, I could be wrong. And once it, all this is unraveled, maybe there's a tiny little piece of baby corn in there, but they look like they're normal sized corn for me. Anyway, uh, back to my lettuce. I spoke to you about this lettuce before. Lola Rose. Lola Rosa it's called. Very easy to grow. I've grown it for about three years now. And at the end of last summer I had a pot. A pot just like that. About eight inches, six, eight, well, say eight inches. And um, I kept it in that greenhouse uh, down the road, down the garden there, sorry, that plastic greenhouse. And it survived all winter. And I figured that uh, if frost has kept away from uh, the crop then they will survive out in these veg beds so um, I thought I'd keep my eye open for some uh, cloche that I could use and look what I have here three boxes 120 centimeters wide um, and she's just the right size to fit into those veg beds um, and guys look at how much I paid for them I don't know how much they are normally a rough guess I'd say about 10 or 15 pound and I got three at 50 pence end of season sale in town so I believe that was law of attraction next to nothing they might as well have given, given them to me for free um, also this area here I wanted a piece of furniture to keep all these bits and bobs tidy it took about a week or so um, and the neighbour up the road, I walked past the house one day and uh, this first time cot was being thrown out. It belonged to the little girl down the road, but she's about 11 now. And her parents gave it to their neighbours uh, because they uh, were um, needing something to breed puppies in. Well, they bred the puppies and they wanted somewhere to keep them, so they used this old cot. So what I've done, I've put one piece at the top here at the back and the other piece the other side panel um, just to support it and I had thought about put covering it but I think I'll just leave it open the whole area does look a lot tidier with it there and down here I've got a mirror which I should come out the door I mean it really what does work to kind of like give the illusion of uh, clear concrete area when really it's full of clutter and these mirrors I mean, guys, I really could not have fitted any better. They're, they're flush with the side. It's almost like it was meant to be. I found these two mirrors. I gave them walk, you know, about a year and a half or so ago. They've been put out. They were cracked here. Um, and apart from that, yeah, they were they were in pretty good nick, so I picked them up. They would have only ended up smashed in the uh, glass refuse box and ended up in landfill. So, yeah, the point I'm trying to make is that... Um, Again, there are a lot of things in this garden that I've, I've bought very cheaply or I've got for nothing. And everything for this garden I, I wanted, I've got. 
I do need a water feature, a working water feature, as yet I haven't got that. Um, but I think that, you know, because being in a place of contentment with the garden, I've got everything that I wanted for it. Just asked and or thought about it and then forgot about it and it materialised. And like I said before, for a long time, years even, I, I used to ponder, what's going on? What's happening? Why do I get everything I want for the garden? Um, and it was Law of Attraction without me knowing I was, I was working Law of Attraction or Law of Attraction was working for me. And um, just to mention a couple of things outside of the garden theme, uh, my daughter, she works as a kitchen manager in a high school. And a couple of months ago, she mentioned there was a job going up the road because she has to travel nine miles to uh, St Albans, St Albans City. And, uh, well, it's more like a town, actually. It's a tiny little place. It's got a cathedral in it, so they call it a city. But, yeah, it's nine miles um, to, to her work. And um, out of the blue, about a month or so ago, uh, she was offered a job up the road around the corner. Because I told her to do a law of attraction for it, and I, I did a law of attraction myself, imagining that my daughter would say, hey, mum, I've got the job. And a couple of weeks ago, that's exactly what happened. And also, again, there's a guy in town, a security guy, who works in Tesco's. And a uh, short guy, he's only about five foot tall. Five foot two. And he was, you know when you've got to stand for a time and you, you shuffle your feet from side to side? And I had a little conversation with him. And I said about how, uh, why didn't he ask for a stool? And he said that he had. Uh, but the uh, request had been denied. And I said, you know, think positively. And I tried talking to him about law of attraction, I believe I did. And weeks went by and I saw the man in there at a distance one time. And um, he didn't look very happy, standing on his feet. So um, I imagined going into the store one day and seeing him sitting down. And guys, it happened last week and uh, I mean it just really made my day seeing it I just know it's law of attraction working um, so yeah guys this is real this is our power that we have um, I know that things are on the way for me big, big things much bigger things and um, as they materialize I will I will do a video and keep you updated. Okay, take care. Bye for now.